though the world might be mended. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls Blind. So, in the last episode, we took down the Tower Knight. I didn't think we could do it, but we did. We took down the Tower Knight. That man was a giant, but we still did it. And in this episode, I'm gonna head back here and real quick kill this guy. Kinda just wanna do it. And just like that, he is dead. That's how powerful I am, guys. I'm not actually upgrading my str- <clears throat> Sorry. My uh, voice is kind of... Yeah. Man, my throat... My throat just went out for a moment. Okay, I think I'm gonna run away from this guy for a moment. Come at me. Okay. These guys are way too good at shots. Half moon grass and throwing knife. So I just replaced some of the healing items that I just wasted by killing those guys. But I did get more souls out of it, so it's worth it. So guys, in this episode, a thick colors fog holds you back. Only those who have slain an arch demon may pass this point. Okay, never mind, we're not moving on in this area. So, I actually remember, uh, my friend mentioned something about that. After a certain point in this area, you cannot come back here until way later in the game, apparently. You have to kill something huge, and that's what they're talking about, an arch demon. Uh, I did level up a little bit, let's see. What do I have soul-wise? We have the lead demon soul, the iron demon souls, the renowned hero soul, six unknown hero souls, six unknown soldier soul. I kind of want to just, uh, you know what? I'm doing it. Uh, let's just use these items. I figured, why not get one more level up out of this, right? Another unknown hero soul. Actually, we might be able to get two out of this, depending on how much the unknown soldier souls are worth. No. We're not going to be able to get two out of this. Oh, well, it's fine. Yeah. We only got, like, 5k, and it costs, like, 3,500 or something to level up now. 3600. So I can do more luck to get a better drop rate, some more physical defense, and plague resistance. Or I can do vitality to get more health. 21 more health. I can get two more item burden, two more physical defense. Would I want to even do anything else? This doesn't even increase my attack power for some reason. It just gives me a little bit more physical defense. Which I'm sure later it would. But I'm not caring that much about it right now. We'd get one more stamina, one more I quit burden. Uh, endurance might be worth it because you'd uh, we'd get more stamina, but it's not enough stamina to make it worth it to me right now. Mm. I shouldn't talk like that. I'm doing endurance in hopes that I can up my stamina enough to keep on attacking. May thy strength help the world be mended. Um, I figure in this episode, we can head back up in here, I said we would, and I also got a bunch of, uh, crossbow bolts, so I figure that should help. A trio land of the Queen's Ivory Tower, actually I want to do one thing before that as well. I want to go and get those, uh, fire bombs that I put in here, because I'm gonna use them on them. Hello again, I'm keeping- Take item, uh, what would that be considered? Would that be in here? Turpentine... Firebombs, firebombs, firebomb... Oh, I must have used them all. So I'm getting a lot of items, as you can tell, throughout the game. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them and I'm finally human again. That right there is... It feels really good. I'm just... The only thing I'm worried about is that since I'm heading up here instead of heading to the second one or something, I'm worried that the boss of this area is going to wreck me. And I don't have a lot of healing items right now, so that kind of sucks. I suppose I could spend a lot of uh, souls on healing items, but it's not something I really want to do if I don't have to. I suppose I should, though. Eh. kind of wish there was an item that let you reach in. 
just I would just sit off to the side for five minutes to heal up rather than actually using items. Almost forgot and killed that guy. Come on. So if you head up here, you can head all the way around and you can get to the place I was before. I remember this area was only two episodes ago. That was like an hour ago, my mm, hour and a half ago, my time. Hour ago, I, the last recording session, not the last recording session, the last episode before any cuts or speed ups or anything was 52 minutes long. And I should be able to cut out at least like 20 minutes of that. But all the same, you know what I'm saying. I forgot. I actually need to head up here. I was thinking of the next area. The western? Okay. Dude. You really need to work on your being in the way thing. Okay, if I head back here. Yeah, come praise me. I want your praise. Come pray. Bye. Dick. Hi there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to kill you. I'm sorry. You guys are completely in my way, and now he's here already. I was not. In Dang it! Seriously, guys. Like I said, you're in my way. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You guys wouldn't get out of my way. Royal Lotus. Widow's Lotus. Royal Lotus. What do Widow's Lotuses do? Because that just makes me feel bad for killing him. Heal user from plague. Poison. Bleeding. Alright. I think I have the right items for this area right now. Once I get down there, I'm going to want to equip a bunch of ranged items. But for now, I'm fine. Ah, there he is. Definitely want to find him. Come on. Nope, and I might be dead. I'm dead. I missed my power attack, and now I'm dead. See, guys, no matter how strong you get, you're still going to die. And I just lost my humanity thanks to it. I don't even know what, if that's what it's called in this game. I know that's what it's called in Dark Souls, because, like, the 20 minutes of point of it. Well, it's, it was... Okay. A little bit of story time. So, it wasn't 20 minutes of my time in uh, Dark Souls. It was 20 minutes of progress in the game. Like, I made it through the first area, killed the first boss guy, and then did some other things and got screwed. So, I just sat there not knowing what to do, so really equated to 20 minutes of game time. Well, it was probably more like an hour or something, but, you know, I was I was stuck at this point. I didn't know what to do. I kept going the wrong place and just running my head into a wall. And I kept trying to level myself up, try to get strong enough for the area, until I realized I'd spent, like, 12 hours or something not doing the right thing at all. These guys are not difficult if you just approach them practically. Strong, weak, strong. That's my pattern. And I got him. This guy is dead. Got some fresh spice. Got my souls back is more important. And guys, be right back. The puppy's like, I need out. And I'm like, oh, I'm recording a game that I can't pause. I hope nothing actually comes up here and kills me or else I'm screwed again. Alright guys, I'm back. So it's been like half an hour. <laughs> I had to go and deal with family things, but I'm finally back. Wait, was it family things? No, it turned out as dog things that then turned into family things. Eh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> In the end, I'm just uh, making my progress. Nothing killed me while I was gone, which makes me feel good, and that guy just kept running around me for half an hour, apparently, which is kind of weird. 
But uh, it's whatever, I guess. You know what? While I'm thinking about it, fresh spice, let's unequip that. Instead, let's equip throwing knives. Unequip this. Instead, equip. Um. I wish I had magic. I don't know. I don't know what else I can equip. What I do know I can do is I can come down here and I can run through here and I can head downstairs right up here and then I can get to that area I needed to get to. I... Ah, oh man. I cannot wait. I know this isn't really anything to do with the game, guys, but I'm about to visit California to go visit my girlfriend who I haven't seen in, like, forever, and I'm just... I'm really hyped up. Ow! Ow! Okay. Apparently this time it was ready for me. That was the first time it's ever done that to me. <laughs> but ow, I'll say that much. Please but yeah, I'm me. just like three or four days from now, I'm going to be going down there, I'm going to be visiting her, we're going to have a great time just hanging out and things, and I'm going to be down there for four days. I hope, I hope I'm going to be uploading. This episode should be going up right during that time. If it was delayed, then you know why. Alright. Why did that just... Only deals 11 damage. Why? I kind of hate if I accidentally double tap, it'll automatically just keep going through, throwing them. And then that second one just doesn't even hit it, even though it hits it. I kind of hope this guy gets hit. I know he's not going to because I'm hiding behind things and it's constantly targeting me. Ow. Let's heal up a bit. If you could not do that again. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you've been praising me for like half hour. Okay, really? This is going to be a long-winded fight, I feel like. I'm speeding this up. This takes absolutely forever. I kind of got bored. Oh my gosh, that was close. Dead. Finally. That took absolutely forever to kill. Over a thousand souls. Not worth it. Seriously, a thousand thirty-seven souls and that's all I got from it? I was thinking that that was where the key was or something, but no, apparently it's not. Apparently this entire thing was my wasted e <coughs> effort because I could actually run by it. Ah, oh, my throat just got kind of scratchy again, like it did at the beginning of the episode. Weird. Um, Iron Demon Soul, Lean Demon Soul. I'm not seeing anything I can really use in my inventory. That weird white uh, monster thing's not back. <clears throat> How does this thing attack? Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. What 
let's see. What did I just get? I'm not seeing anything that looks like something I just got. I'll go soul prison third floor fourth floor third floor cell key fourth floor maybe it was a key I think I might have got a key but I didn't see what it was for oh actually that's what it was the prison of hope warden's key opens the warden's halls in prison of hope so I think they want me to go do something with that now. Because honestly, I can't get past that. Are you kidding me? The moment I get hit by that, I'm just going to die. I'm going to fall over dead. No way around it. Anything hidden here? Surprisingly, there's nothing hidden here. Unless I can just go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Do, do, do. I'm actually really surprised that that wasn't a... That's not actually a boss boss. That's some kind of huge trap thing that kills you in sight. It's weird. They introduced it as a boss, I thought. Um. So where, oh where, would the warden's room be? Oh where, oh where would it be? Is that what this is? Appears to be locked. Do you think the warden's key would actually be to all rooms in the entire prison? But no. Apparently it's just to his room. He's smart and doesn't have a uh, skeleton key. Because if that gets in the wrong hands, then well, let's just say every prisoner is out. Which I've actually been doing, letting all these prisoners... What are these guys in prison for? Is this like a demon prison where the demons just get all the humans and just throw them in there? Is that what this is, or what? Are these actual prisoners? Because if so, that's just not something I actually want to let these guys... No wonder these guys are all crazy. They're crazy! Kind of want to head that way. I have a feeling like it's not that way, though. If I keep heading up from here... Yep, the warden's key right here. This better not be the boss battle. Oh crap. There's an enemy down there. Try to get his attention and drag him down here. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, I know it's a waste to use it, but I'm gonna need to if I want to kill this guy. Gotcha. I didn't want to take a risk of him hitting me and then just insta killing me. I don't know why, but this game really gets... Ooh. Gotcha. I'm really lucky he missed. Like I said, like I was saying, this game really gets my heart pumping. A renowned hero soul, that's worth a lot of souls. Seriously, whenever I get this point and playing this game, like, where is it gonna attack me next? My heart just goes crazy just pumping. And I'm just... That's not kosher. <laughs> it's not even like a scared thing. It's like a, where, what am I going to do? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die type thing. Don't kill me. I have a feeling like every time I go outside, it's just going to lead me to some kind of big boss fight. And I'll just be able to... Not a bridge kind of, it's like the top of a, mm, this is not good. I want to say I won't do this. 
Oh, oh, it's a little hole. Oh, what's in the little hole? There's nothing in the hole. Who designs that kind of thing? Dead rats at that entry to... I'm so dead, aren't I? The gates are going to close on me and then I'm screwed. <sighs> God dang it. I have so many souls. I can level up with these, but I don't want to. I want to make progress. I'm going to lose these souls. Give me a second before I lose these souls, though. That was weird. It's like... That's... A weird graphical pop-up. Which means that there's something there to pop up. Doesn't do it with closed things because everything's already loaded over here. But something far away... Boom. Shows it. Which means that that's probably a fog wall up there. Just a guess. Either that, or one of those things. Die, die, prepare to die. Just a second, guys. I'm going to turn up my TV a little bit. Alright, now I can see correctly. And now... I feel like it's just gonna show on me. I felt like it was gonna show on me. Yep, sure enough, that's a fog wall. Before I do the fog wall, though, I'm gonna head up and see what I can see. I feel like these are just gonna kill me, though. Every Everything in this game feels like it's gonna murder you. Like, everything is telling you there's a trap ahead. Which brings me to another thing. The past few episodes, you might have noticed I'm not online. The reason behind that manner, it's been, like, messed up all day long. It's nothing I can do anything about, sadly. It's... It, it sucks. I haven't been able to use Skype for most of the day. I've, I've just been out of it. Out of contact. Not able to play a lot of games. Which left time for recording, which is good, I guess. There's an item there. I want to get it. Can't get it. It's kind of sad. What I can do is I can keep running this way and figure out what's over here. They wouldn't just make all this stuff over here and just not give something over here as a reward. Ooh, an item. I'm going to keep my shield up just in case. Because, you know, those bad feelings. Sometimes you just gotta listen to them. Silver Catalyst. Oh. What's that? I wonder. I'm actually gonna re-equip my thieves thing. Thieves ring. Because I don't want to be seen so easily. And in addition to that... Um, I'm not sure what else I could use. I guess I can put on these ones in these empty slots. Soldier's Lotus and Royal Lotus. And while I'm here, I can check what this did. Oh, Silver Catalyst. Oh, it's just a better staff. Is that an enemy over there? Or is that a friend? Maybe it's a frenemy. I have no idea. I don't even know what a frenemy is. Where, oh, where am I supposed to go? I guess back down.
All right, let's enter the fog. Oh, I'm behind it. Do I just break it? Oh no, I just pull weaker. Who turned it on to begin with? Someone gonna get really pissed that I turned that off. Anyone? Does anyone even care? I guess not. Hopefully this isn't a trap. Storied soldier's tale, soul, whatever. Clever rat's ring, renowned soldier. Renowned soldier. Stone of ephemer ephemeral eyes. All right, let's head back up here, guys. Luckily, we didn't have to fight this huge thing. When I saw it, I thought boss immediately, which is why I left this area. Figures that they went through a boss so soon. Though, now that I've progressed all this way, I think it's nearing the time that we should have a boss. Come on. I'm running up this thing. And I'm gonna run all the way down here. So yeah, guys, I'm not even sure what to say at this point. It's just kind of running around without any action, which is weird. I guess this area is just supposed to be really atmospheric, though I can't hear the music very well, like I said. So I can't, you know, enjoy it as much as I should. I Jumping down there would be suicide, right? And yeah, I really want that item, and it's probably a trick, but I'm going to try it on my way back. I'm also going to talk to the person who's over here, who's hopefully a person, not an enemy to fight. They look like a person. They look like some kind of magical person. Just to be sure, I'm going to put up my shield, but... Hi. Crazy. What? What do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. Uh, uh. What? What do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause... Alright. Sorry about repeating that a little bit. I was just changing the sound so I could hear it, and yeah, from the sounds of it, he's just insane. And also, what is this? What? I won't. Won't cause any trouble. If he's about to, if he's gonna summon something down there for me to fight, I'm gonna be pissed. Wait, why is there red down there? The red words. I'm not online. That's silly. No, oh, you're so silly, game. And I know this is stupid, considering the fact that I've gotten, I've come so far to even risk this. Because if I risk this, then it's, well, it's my death, but didn't take any damage from that. Widow's Lotus. I don't know if that's actually worth it. It's not just like plague resist, like plague immunity, not plague immunity, plague cure. Yep, which means I might be fighting something with the plague. What the f- Who was- What was- What? I'm not online, right? I'm not online. I don't know what that was. Some kind of glowing red enemy who just shot me a few times to death. That sucks. That really sucks. I... I actually don't care about you anymore, I'm sorry. 
shard of moonlight stone. I, don't know, I guess that's supposed to be good or something. What I know is what I know is good is how strong I've come. What I know is bad is how quickly I can be wrecked by everything. Gotcha. See? That's how powerful I am. I can easily kill something like that, and that thing would terrify me before. But Honestly, these guys can still wreck me so easily. I do not have enough damage resistance. One thing I forgot about was fighting these guys. In this super long hallway. This should be fun. Luckily, he's over there. Crap. I'm gone. <sighs> the reason this is an issue is because the other one came over. Go away. Go away. Go away, you freaky Cthulhu. Good night. Got them both without much issue, just had to use one healing item, not that bad. And now, I'm, on, I'm back on my way. I am making my way downtown, I'm going fast. Do 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 Regain the lost souls. Where's the enemy who killed me? Making my way downtown, I'm going fast. I didn't mean to use that other item. Nice backstab chance. Come on. Why did you... You just froze? I was trying to... Whatever. So we have an assassin to deal with. A really good assassin, which is the bad part. Man, that's... Oh my gosh. So we're only gonna have to fight one guy on the way there because I'm taking the other path this time because I remembered I opened that uh, way up. But... Man, is this a little bit convoluted. You run up here to go all the way around and to go down. And then you just keep going down all the way to the basement. You have to pass some huge... Excuse me. Monster. And then... After you get pat sneak past the huge monster, you can go get killed... By that. Okay, got some more Old Spice, now people won't say it's not like, uh, sweat and disgusting. Okay, now that you're dead, sadly these guys don't drop any HP recovery items. They don't drop any of the grasses. So, okay. I'm gonna equip one of my 
I'm gonna equip that, and I'll only use it if I'm really close to dying. Come on. Just have to run all the way down and then I'll be fine. To think, I thought this would be the shortcut going that way, but there's actually another shortcut, which is really nice doing that kind of thing. Making it easy to get there so you don't have to do as many battles, you can just sneak past some guys to get there. Which, I guess this area is all about sneaking since the big guy on campus is in a is a freaking assassin. Like, an assassin? Really? Someone who runs around, stabs you in the back, shoots you with bows and arrows. I'm sorry, guy, but... Honestly, I'm kind of tired of these guys, because with these guys, they just respawn every time. All these guys in this prison, not only do they respawn every time, but they just get in your way. Their sole purpose is to be in your way and keep you a giant monster. And now that thing doesn't even matter anymore, so we can just move on. I'd be so pissed if it just turned it back on right then. Because I'd be losing 7,000 souls all together. All the souls I was about to get back, as well as the souls I currently have. So I don't know what to do about this assassin, because it looks like another player. It even has the red outline, which makes me think it's someone invading my world, which it's obviously not. If it was, then they'd just take a huge cut of my souls, or all my souls, or whatever, and then leave. Just adjusting myself. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. You have too much HP for an assassin. Lucky you just ran around me instead of stabbing the back yeah, in the back like you should have. Come on. Come to Papa. I kind of wish I got a chance to do a power attack. Man, I'm not playing this well. I'm getting too greedy with it. No, I didn't mean to... Why did you... Okay. Take two, take three, take three, take two, kind of. I, I only, this is only my second time really fighting it. Third time, actually, now that I think about it. Dang, take four. When disadvantaged all this is that my souls are now up there with her. Man, this sucks. I'm gonna have to fight her more down here. I'm gonna have to try to draw her this way. Assuming it's a her and that I'm not just missing it or something. Regained lost soul. Come down here, dare you? Come on. I just want to have some fun. Wait. 
what I should do is learn how to parry correctly. Parry? I just died again. I was so close. This one stupid enemy. I shouldn't have got greedy right at the end. Should have healed. Should have, could have, would have. Would have. Mm. I'm so close. Gotcha. Oh my gosh, I got her. I finally got her, guys. Black Eye Stone, Chunk of Moonlight Stone, Stone of Ephemeral Eye. Over a thousand souls from that. So guys, next time on Let's Put... Oh god. No. Oh god, no. So guys, next time on Let's Play Demon Souls Blind, I know this is probably a really long episode, but to be fair, I have no idea how long it is. I was out of the room for at least 40 minutes during this, so the counter says an hour and 40 minutes. An hour and 35 minutes. And then there's all this cutting, and this is probably going to be a long episode. I'm sorry about that, guys. But guys, next time, we're probably taking on the boss of this area. So I'll see you guys then.